Welcome back, everyone. Um, things happened. Uh, let me just jump out here. Uh, I had a technical problem and I, um, started recording about half an hour ago. Um, but the recording did not work. Um, so I have to catch you up again. I feel like I'm always catching you guys up. Um, bottom line is this, um, we're still harvesting the sugar cane, um, which is full right now and rain is coming in about an hour. So we may not get it all done before the rain. Uh, that said, um, there was an incredible sale on this tractor. It's a 9470 RT, uh, John Deere. Um, it was about half price and we jumped on it uh, we spent the money and to go with that, um, we bought a uh a new plow uh large plow about 18 meters i think it is um so uh with that uh our goal is to build up um this and and create this huge field um which we plan uh to put in uh some cotton i feel silly i just talked for half an hour <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's jump over. We're going to leave this for now. Uh, let's jump over to our sugar cane harvester and see. Um, let's get that unloaded. All right. We're full. We were almost done. Actually, we might get it done before six. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm running the, the, the clock at uh, five times speed. And uh, that is challenging a little bit sometimes. Okay. That's off and running. So let's let's see. Uh, let me catch you up on the BGA situation because we made a change over there as well. Uh, lots of changes going on right now. So we've loaded all of the the bales into the BGA. As you can see, um, we're out. We're out of silage. Uh, we have sold all of the, um, of all the electric charge and, uh, we have some methane and digestate left over. Uh, one of the things we spent money on over here is a new silo. Um, it's basically a production silo and what it does is it, um, converts, um, and processes uh, different things. Let's have a look. So from here, uh, we can actually uh, bring in hay. Um, uh, we, we can make hay um, from grass and we could make silage from grass or chaff, um, both of which are great options. We may need some hay. Uh, we definitely need silage. Um, so this will be our conversion process. And, um, I am going to set it to grass and activate it because we'll probably get that mode. Maybe not this episode, but, um, probably, uh, next episode for sure. We'll get our new field done. So yeah, another catch up. I think we're all caught up. I apologize for that. Um, I don't like doing the catch up thing, especially when I've been talking for a while and realized that the uh, recording wasn't working. So we missed a little bit of a little bit of dialogue, but you know how I am. Sometimes it's a lot of hot air. So, <laughs> okay, so let's pick up where we left off here. We're going to continue working on this field. Uh, it's going to be. You know, it's going to take a while to do. This is probably something I'll, I'll definitely work on off, off camera, uh, to get this done. This, I don't feel a bit bad about you missing. 
Um, but that said, I really do uh, uh, apologize for, you know, the gaps. Um, there's been a few in this series. Um, I've made some mistakes. And uh, in this particular case, um, the, the setting for the recording was not set properly. So it's, it's a human error. My fault. Um, so I'm trying to catch up. So, uh, as I was saying, this is going to be cotton. And uh, I was expressing just before I caught that the uh, recording wasn't working. Um, just before I... I um, I caught that. I had been talking about um, how I hadn't heard from Sylvia in a while. And she's uh, kind of been missing. Uh, the workers, helpers that I've been uh, working with are a lot of new faces. Uh, so that's kind of good in a way. But at the same time, I'm a little, little concerned. Last time I was at the shop, I did see that her, uh, her Volkswagen was there. Um, so I assume she's still around, but... We'll, we'll see. We'll try to figure out what's going on. Uh, I've been so busy, I haven't really followed up. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, I'm going to do this here. The shadows are getting long. I hope we can get the harvest, the sugarcane harvest finished. And um, get this new, new field going. Um, probably in the morning. It's just starting to get late. It's going to get dark pretty soon. Uh, we are September, uh, so the days are getting shorter and shorter. Uh, but beautiful September, though. The real colors on those trees are going to come out pretty soon. So as we're putting cotton in here, um, we're going to need some, some more equipment in the future. Um, main, mainly, you know, uh, a cotton harvester, and those are not cheap. Um, the huge startup cost to get into the cotton business. Um, so hopefully, uh, we'll be able to, um, raise enough money for that. I'm really depending on that silage and BGA setup, uh, to be able to provide funding for a while. Um, that said, I do have 243, almost $244,000, uh, still in the bank account. Um, I have made kind of a commitment to try to pay back the, the debts. I could basically pay it all off now, but I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt the cash flow that hard. So I think I'll probably drop another 50 to a hundred thousand, uh, very soon on the debt. And it won't be long now before we're completely out of debt, which is, which will be a great feeling. Beautiful thing about these tracked vehicles is they can turn very sharp. Uh, makes it a lot more useful um, on the fields. We also have great traction, so I shouldn't get stuck anymore. But here comes the rain. Uh, it came a little bit earlier than I expected. I think... Um, I think our harvester has stopped uh, because of the rain, but I feel like, um, oh, thunder. Um, I feel like we should probably continue with the harvest. Yeah, it says that they stopped and it has to do with the rain. So should we continue? Maybe we'll do that in the morning. I may run into mud problems tonight uh, if I keep going on this field. So may, uh, maybe maybe that's a sign that we need to uh, call it a day. Let's do that. Let me just finish this little strip here. And we're just going to leave everything out here. And we'll finish this up in the morning when the weather's a little nicer. Okay, let's get in. Have a nice dinner. Oh, that weather seems pretty bad. Alright. Gonna rest a little, have some dinner, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone.
the new day. Um, well, new month, I guess. Colors are turning. Look at those trees. Starting to get some beautiful golden colors. And let's get back to our sugar cane harvester and see how things are going with that. It turns out that our harvesting was actually finished. I didn't realize that. I should have checked on it before going to bed. But we're just going to clean up a few little spots here. And that's not working. There we go. Oops. We are at 98% and there's a little bit more here. Maybe this will finish it up. For the most part. And that's a hundred. Okay, we're going to leave the rest of that as it is. No point coming back just for that. Last load in here. There we go. Another beautiful morning. Uh, I think we've got nice weather for most of the day. Okay, let's go drop this off. Our beets are coming along really nicely. Uh, first step we need to, we still don't have a real good storage place for this harvester. Pretty awkward to be honest. But we'll just figure out how to drop it here. I need to drop off the trailer first. Okay. And then we'll drop off that. And then we'll back up and get the trailer. There we go. And we'll put our trailer away. We won't need that today, I don't think. Our canola is not ready yet. On both fields, all three fields. That's all canola. Oh boy. I forgot that we did that. And that should be pretty good because uh, November is a good time to sell canola. All right, let's see how our sheep are doing. I, I haven't checked on them in a little bit. I hope they're okay. Uh, they have a decent amount of food and water, so they're good. And uh, we got a bit of wool. All right, sounds good. The chickens, let's run over, check out these guys. I'm not crazy about this fence here. They can just walk right through that. Okay, so we got some eggs. They've got a little bit of food, not a lot left. So that's a concern. We're going to have to deal with that. And of course, our salad is moving along. 19. And 18 for water. Our, our water's okay for a little while. Uh, life is good. Life is good. Things are going well. All right, let's get back to that big field up there. Okay, so our big field, still a lot of work to do. Well, let's get working on that. Again, I'll be back in a little bit. I don't want to make you guys watch all of this.
All right, and we're done. One huge new field. Super exciting. All right. That's a little wide, so I'm going to wait for that to fold up. There we go. Okay. So we put this in good use. And now what we'll do is just head back. Everything is really kind of taken care of for now. I do want to get uh, cotton into that field, but that'll be for another episode. Uh, because of the technical glitch. And when I say technical glitch, glitch. Itch. That's a whole different thing, isn't it? Uh, because of the technical glitch, um, this episode will be kind of short. That's okay, because I've done so many extra long ones that uh, this might be welcome. So it's now October. Um, canola will be upon us very, very, in a very big way in the next episode or two and sheep are doing well um our beets are going to come up at some point that's another set of equipment i need to purchase a harvester for beets i think i might be trying to accelerate a little too fast here but anyways all right guys um uh, thank you um sorry about the the mistake um i will be extra careful for the next episodes i to make sure it doesn't happen again. And uh, we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you think I should be doing differently. Uh, am I making any mistakes I'm not even realizing? Who knows? I'm just backing in. A little moonwalk back into the house. There we go. Alright, take care. Have a great day.